Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be restringing the Astor GN and it was fairly straightforward. I had um, about four radios to do and the string finally came in after how many months? I don't know where it was. It had been all around the country about 10 times. So yes, but eventually arrived. So the dial stringing was really quite straightforward. The radio on the other hand is behaving very strangely. It was picking up um, New South Wales stations, which is not normally the case with any radio that I have these days. Um, and it was ghost, ghosting the stations too. The local powerful stations, which are only five Ks away, uh, they were all over the dial. So uh, something is very um, out of alignment with that radio. And I couldn't work it out. I tried aligning it and all that sort of things, but not to be. So I've reassembled it and put it aside for now. Okay, let's get into the video, the, which ends very, very abruptly at the end. So be warned if you sit right the way through it. It is quite long and boring. I chopped about oh, half of it out, um, but because it's a restring, I won't be showing you um, it again, unless I have a very, very interesting radio. Here it goes. So I'm not quite sure. Uh -huh, so that probably comes, yeah, around there. Around there, and up into there, okay. I can't find a stringing diagram for this. So I'm just going to cut the dial cord three times the length. It seems really short. <laughs> So I'm purely guessing on this one. So that should go over that. Okay, so this one's dead simple. So there's a uh, wheel in there just got to thread this up over here down through here
and around there. Yeah, I did that. There we go. Hmm. That was quite easy. Okay. So I'm just going to tie a knot in it temporarily. Oh, I'd never be any good at sewing. Okay. Do 
too easy. <laughs> now, just to make up a pointer of some description, I have to find some stiff wire, I guess, and um, bend it and paint it. So the next step is to tie the string and fit uh, a spring. So I think I might use this one. If anyone knows where I can get some of these smaller springs in bulk, that would be useful. So what I'm going to do is tie this end first. Which is really awkward from this angle. Right, so we'll keep this there and then I'll pull the string from the other direction. Making sure it's actually on the wheel. These springs are a bit of a nuisance because Just out of reach, isn't it?
And this looks like it's going to need two springs. So I'll get another one. And we'll just open the spring up. Okay, done. So just for the record, this is a fairly simple, straightforward one. So I've just put two springs on here and they're fairly tensioned. So it goes around underneath the dial. round underneath here and back then it loops around the tuning shaft there and then it goes around and down so it makes a right angle then back onto the wheel and around. So it all works. If not smoothly, I'll get the knob.
So restringing this was very easy but fiddly. And the springs have good tension on them. They're not going to come off. And we can snip the excess. So that part is finished. Last night I started on the cabinet. So I filled this hole in here, which had been drilled for that little tiny tuning knob. wherever I put it and I'll sand it back but there's a couple of lumps in it which I'm not too happy with I guess that gives us some wiggle room to sand it back Now last time I didn't have some of the capacitors so I'm going to replace this one down here and I'll also attempt to do these ones in here not quite sure what I'm going to do with the pointer yet um, do have a couple of bits of stiff wire somewhere and so might be able to mock something up with that well this one's almost finished and it just needs the dial pointer interestingly the num uh, stations for Victoria are behind uh, the frame of the radio and only the minor stations uh, in New South Wales and South Australia are uh, uh, lit up very strange but it is working Think it's got tags, or what Mitch B tells us. Well, also true. So Let's get to a break. Plenty more as Paps goes bang on Thursday trackside. Your news, your world, and the latest from 2 a.m. locally. So it seems to be picking up quite a few ghost stations at the wrong end of the dial.
developments with ABC News Radio. And we've got an ABC News Radio update along in just a moment. The rising star rocks, interesting market right now. And now, until next time, please join me. Open seven days from 8am to 5pm. We're going to be fine. 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 We're going to just search for Magic 1278. Magic 1278, part of the ACE Radio Network. 24 degrees in Melbourne, partly cloudy tomorrow, a top of 25. It's 2 o'clock. Good afternoon. I'm Tony Tardio. Of course, the set band spreads for the shortwave. Uh, just useless here now because there's absolutely nothing on them. But if we go down, don't even bother aligning the um, the short wave on this. It doesn't seem quite right. with a nil-all draw. And Sydney Uni stars Shana Heal and Kelly Frolling have been named in the Opal squad. That's news and sport. Well, that's at the bottom of the dial down here. And it should be right up here. So there's definitely something amiss with this radio. So I'll have to work that out eventually. But it's all back together again. And it's, yes, that um, volume control needs to be removed and taken apart. But I'll put some light on it. So that's it, and this one is, well, 90% finished. So I'll just have to find a, a badge for it, and I'll probably paint the grill. But it's not too bad sounding, and it does have quite good bass, quite a deep, uh, rich cabinet. So 